Hello, this is Robert Spider and welcome back to a new video. So this video is going to be about the docking tutorial. So yeah, I had a docking tutorial in the past, but I was thinking that I can do maybe like a different one, a more effort efficient one. So I asked you guys in my community tab and a lot of you guys said yes. So here it is. Anyway, before beginning the video, have a look at this. Yes. We got 2000 subscribers and I know this is a bit late, but my previous videos didn't, you know, seem like the best videos to actually announce this. So yeah, we hit 2000 subscribers and that is an awesome milestone and thanks a lot to you guys because you guys did it. And now I have a goal. Okay. I have a goal for this month. I have a goal for June and this might seem a bit ambitious, but I think we can do it. Yep. You know, I think you can do it and you know you can do it. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so my goal for this month is to reach 2300 subscribers. Yes, that's right. 2300 subscribers by the end of this month. 2300 by the end of this month, which means by the end of June 30th. Please. I mean, I know this is a big aim when we see it alongside my, my previous growth, but I think I can do it. I think you guys can do it. I think we can do it. So yeah, let's do it. So first of all, we would like to get into an orbit because of course that is how we do it. So yeah, we need to get into an orbit and we have to make sure that our orbit is slightly aligned with our target's orbit, which means that our orbit has to be, you know, about 2000 meters to 800 meters short of our target's orbit, which means that our apoapsis and our periapsis has to be shorter by about 2000 to 800 meters shorter than our target's apoapsis and periapsis because that actually means that we are traveling faster than our target. So we catch up to our target. This is how it works. So once you are in an orbit, you have a, you have a fixed speed for a fixed orbit, right? So you have a fixed speed for a fixed apoapsis and a fixed periapsis and a target has that fixed speed. So if we match our orbit exactly at the same, which means exactly like our targets, which means that our apoapsis and our periapsis is exactly as that of our target. This means that we also are traveling at the same speed as our target. And this means that there is no relative velocity between us because we two are traveling at the same speed. So we are never going to meet. So this means that we have to keep our orbit either short or a bit excess of our target's orbit. So which means that we have to either have less velocity than our target or have greater velocity than our target. So if you guys want the less velocity part, what we can do is that we can, so we can actually take our orbit slightly higher than our target's orbit. So which means that our orbit is actually bigger than our target's orbit. And that means that we are further out from the earth. So we are slower. And if you guys want the faster route, which means that our velocity is faster than, than our target's velocity, then what you guys have to do is that you guys have to take an orbit, which is slightly shorter than our target's orbit. So it means that we are closer to the earth than our target. So we travel faster. And if we travel faster than our own target, then that means that we are catching up to it. And if our target moves faster than us, then it means that it is catching up to it. So you can do any of the two routes. It's it's okay, but I usually prefer the, the faster velocity route, which means that my orbit is actually shorter than my target's orbit. So I like to keep it at about 800 meters to about 2000 meters, you know, within this range from my target's object, which means that my apoapsis and my periapsis are about 800 meters to about 2000 meters shorter than my target's apoapsis and periapsis. So once we have this done, we'll have to fast forward, you know, just time lapse up until we actually are very close to our target. And so what we can do is that we can actually tap on our spacecraft and then tap follow. So this actually sets the game's point of view on our spacecraft. So our spacecraft is always in the center. And this means that it is actually easier to see if our spacecraft is, is in the center because we are in the spacecraft. 
And now we'll just have to fast forward until we get really close to it. And you can see here that because I am traveling faster than my target, I am actually catching up to it. I am moving towards my target. So once you actually see your target, you have to burn in the direction in which the target is moving respective to you. So this means that you have to cancel out your relative velocities. If the target is moving left, According to me, I'll have to also move left because I have to cancel out that axis velocity. So until you do that, so you have to just keep on cancelling out those axis velocities until you reach a point of standhold for you and your orbit and your target, I'm sorry. So once you have that, you can easily use RCS and dock. And well, actually this was a pretty rubbish rocket. I, sh I should have mentioned it earlier. I was lazy. I just got lazy. Okay. So if you guys like this video, then you guys know what to do, right? I have told you earlier on the video, we need 2300 subscribers by the end of this month. So if you are new, then like the video and subscribe. And if you are subscribing, then you might want to see more of my videos and see when I post. So just hit that notification bell right there. Yep. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.